Before you educate the head, try to educate the heart. Hey guys, it's me Nicole and for today's video, we have my mom with us. Hi! So basically, today's video is just gonna be a very chit-chatty video. I suggest you guys just sit back and relax, get a snack or a drink. It's just gonna be a light convo that I'm gonna have with my mom. Maybe she can give us life motivations because, you know, she's kind of old. I'll try my best. It's kind of cloudy. Actually, not kind of. It's really cloudy today. And windy. That's why the lighting is not that good. But I think it's a perfect weather to have a chit chat with my mom. So we're very prepared for this video. We brought some drinks. Show it, show it. And I also have chips. It's great. So let's begin. So the first thing that I want to talk about today is college. Actually, my past two videos have been about college. So if you guys are watching my channel, you already probably know that. But I am an incoming college freshman. Let's talk about your experience when you were a college student. When is the start of your classes? Right now, yung announce namin is October 19th. Her birthday! So my debut is gonna be the first debut. day. <laughs> St. Louis University in Baguio City. I took a BS Accountancy. Galing siya sa math! And so, hindi mo ako makukupitan. <laughs> <laughs> At sa St. Louis University, Baguio City ko nakilala ang Daddy mo na kamukha mo! <laughs> Doon nagsimula ang lahat. Kaya nandito si Nicole. That's where their love story started in college. So about college, mommy is not from Baguio, right? Like she just went there for school. So yes. how was it like being far from your family? I live in a boarding house with my sister. Shout out to my sister. Hi sis. <laughs> Basically that time we are so independent and we seldom go home. Siguro pag may mga long vacation lang like uh, summer vacation. Christmas vacation. We do everything. I wash my clothes. I Your uniform. We don't have uniform. I do the uh, dishes, yes. uh, cooking. Because right now, my pandemic. So obviously, I'm gonna take my college in my room. But once everything goes back to normal, and I have my own condo, or I live far. Not really that far. Maybe every weekend you can go home. What did you do during your weekends? Because I want my weekend to be not about school. Like, I want weekends to be fun. Walang ganong gimmick that time or going out. Kasi nga, we don't have um, that much money. So, instead of going out, to save we have to lang. save the money na lang. I remember, nakakabili lang ako ng new clothes na gusto ko if I will save from my allowance. But now guys, her closet is my favorite shopping place. Ang ganda ng ano, fashion sense ni mommy ngayon. Parang ngayon siya nagiging teenager. Actually, this dress Ito is hers. <laughs> Yung kinulang niya nung college days niya about her outfit, ngayon niya binabawi. Like, ngayon siya nag-dress up. Which is cute. Also, another question. This is something that I'm worried about. Like, how do you make friends in college? But I'm grateful because even though I'm not yet in college talaga, I've already made some friends even though we haven't met in real life. Because in college, uh, somehow, the conversation is probably a little bit mature. Because it's a preparation for your career to be. That's it. You just talk to them and then just be yourself. Lang. And they will like you for who you are. Pero sa tingin ko ah, syempre pagka-college na, maraming iba-iba na kasi yung classmates mo may mga from province, Ayaw. from the city, ganun. Pero I noticed na parang mas nagiging close friends yung mga same na from province, parang ganun. But not in all cases naman, yun lang observation ko. Okay, the next topic is akats versus lakats. Like, how do you balance your time in college? How do you still socialize and go out? First, you have to know your priorities. Priorities. If you know your priorities and you manage your time well before going out, you have to see to it. Na Tapos mo na yung assignments mm -hmm. mo. <laughs> and then, if not, you have to go home early. Paano kung walang katapasan yung school works and you can't go out anymore? Yeah, a kid cat. You have to give yourself a break kasi pagka puro naman studies, you will feel exhausted and then 
mas tatama rin ka na gawin mo yung mga things na kakapagparelax sa'yo. Yeah. Ano man yun. She works out I on her I exercise and I read books, watch Netflix. Ako what I do, like not college kasi hindi pa ako college, pero yung for example with YouTube like editing and filming, whenever I get overwhelmed with all of the things na I think I have to do, I just let myself rest because I think I deserve it. I think we all deserve it. Kasi once na nakapag-rest ka and then you go back, mas nagiging productive mm, ka eh. Babalik yung drive mo to continue doing what you're doing. So this is the last question I have for you about college. What is your greatest takeaway that you can share with us from your college experience? Siguro, um, you have to have balance. Hindi yung puro studies, hindi rin naman yung puro lakad or going out. You have to give time for everything. Not too much or not too little of everything. Balance lang. Balance. 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 Okay. So that's all for the college topic. Now let's talk about relationships. We're having crushes. Okay. So about boyfriends or relationships. Like is it difficult to be in a relationship during college or it has disadvantages and advantages, so it's up to you on how to handle that relationship. Pwede siya maging inspiration, pwede rin siya maging distraction. Mas maganda kung mag-start kayo as friend or best friends and then take their relationship on the next level. I'm happy that I can talk to my mom about guys and relationships and all of that. I have a Ayan question. Nga, ako nun. Hindi, <laughs> may malaman lang na crush ko pag na ako. Speaking of talking to you about crushes like that, do you know when I have a crush? Like before I tell you, or if I have someone. Remember, nung first time na nagpunta sa house natin, si <laughs> ano, <laughs> si ano, <laughs> diba? <gasps> Right away, I asked you. Meron na akong hint. Yeah, I can feel it. Hindi lang pagkilig ka. Nafe-feel ko pagka-stressed siya. Pagka may something na hindi maganda nangyari sa school or with her friends. I can feel it as her mom. And I can also see from her aura. What am I feeling right now? Kanina, nag-blush ka. Kasi nahuli kita sa <laughs> ano. <laughs> okay, enough with the boy talk and the crush talk. Let's talk about life in general. I realize you haven't told us your age. How old are you? I'm 29. Just 10. I turned 39 last August. So you've obviously lived more years than I did. But if you can talk to yourself when you were my age, like what is it that you want to tell your past self? I'm proud of who I am right now and of what I become. And just being ko sa younger self ko na not to worry too much. Kasi when I was younger, I worry too much. I want to check all what's on my to-do list for it's the me day. It's right now. <laughs> when I realized ko na hindi naman uubos lahat ng things to do natin eh. Tomorrow, meron na naman. So, we have to stop. Pagka kailangan na natin mag-stop, take a pause or take a break. I will tell to my younger self na chillax lang. Chill ka lang. Chill ka lang. Enjoy life and make the most of every day. So basically, you want to tell yourself not to worry too much because sooner or later, like in your age now, things that you were worrying about before didn't happen. And things turned out the way it's supposed to turn out. So to conclude this chit chat video with my mom, I am asking her to leave a message towards the youth or towards like teenagers. You have to enjoy every season of your life. Um, like right now, you're a student, so you have to study hard. And once in a while, don't forget to have a break and treat yourself. I have a favorite quote na, being grateful is the key to staying happy. She tells us that almost every day. So yun, be grateful kasi right now during this time na may pandemic not everyone is given the chance to enroll, to study. So if you are enrolled right now, you have to be grateful and also don't forget to help other people, your friends or someone you know even in your small simple way. Kahit hindi man financial, um, you have to just say a word, show some empathy yeah, or care about yeah, them. words to uplift them 
Kasi kung ano naman yung situation nyo ngayon, it's not permanent. I can tell you that. I believe na better days are coming. Stay put lang. Matatapos din ang pandemic na to! And that concludes our video for today. I hope you guys had a fun time just listening or watching this very chit-chatty video with my mom. She made a comeback in my channel. Um, the last video I had with her was when I asked her uncomfortable questions that you can't ask your mom and I had a really fun time filming and editing that video. And I also had a very fun time today. What about you? Did you have fun, mommy? Of course! Of yes. course, of course. Kami, guys. So I hope this video was able to give you some inspiration, motivation, some wisdom, whatever it is that you could have taken away from this video. Or even if this video just made you smile or made you happy, then that would be amazing as well. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like button, and every button. <laughs> Turn on the notification bell. I post every Wednesday. Bye! Bye.